How badly do you want to play professional baseball? Thursday morning, more than 300 Major League hopefuls showed up at Whataburger Field in search of an answer, eager for their chance to show up in front of an MLB scout during the Astros' open tryout. This opportunity to kind of get used to going to these big events and getting exposed and trying to get my name out. I feel a little nervous, but we'll see what happens. Awesome. How do you feel back there? Um, pretty much the same. Nervous. Uh... The attendees were met quickly with a cold dose of reality. At this time, we're not expecting to sign anybody directly from here. This is very honest and blunt and straightforward. And for some of you, that may be, you may have good things to say. For other of you, it may be what you need to hear. But that doesn't mean they didn't get their chance. After a pre-tryout stretch, everyone but the catchers were timed on their 60-yard dash in right field, leading to the first round of cuts. Players were then split into skill position groups, with pitchers sent to the bullpen where a crop of 100 hopefuls was whittled down to two that scouts said might earn a call back. Infielders and outfielders went through fielding drills that cut their numbers down to nine, and catchers were tested on their ability to quickly get a pitch to second base until they were down to three. After all that work, the final 12 players were given a chance to hit, each getting two sets of eight softly thrown pitches to put the mechanics of their swing on display. Got a couple names they're going to keep in track of, keep following. Um, the way it'll work, you know, we have the workout, I'm able to see them in a close setting, uh, see them up close, and then I'll, as the year goes on, have an opportunity to maybe go watch them play in a game. This is kind of the start of it. Gonzalez Luna said the final results of the day are 10 minor league prospects, mostly in their 20s, who might get a call back, and five high school prospects who earned a spot on his radar. As far as the Astro Scouts are concerned, that's enough to call it a good day. For more on the story, pick up Friday's edition of the Corpus Christi Caller Times. This has been Kenny Ryan of the Caller Times reporting.